YouTube, what up? Wrecking Crew Remoras. Um, I am doing a new 1K challenge. These things seem to be the rage. Let's do a 1K challenge on the Spy. Okay, I've been following it very intimately all week. Uh, it's been on my radar off and on for years now. But with the way that the markets are moving and at being as bearish as I am, okay, I have uh, really taken a liking to the SPY because if you manage to secure puts on it, okay, you can really bring in the money. Uh, alternatively with calls too, okay? It just depends what direction you wanna, wanna go. Yesterday in my Discord, uh, one of my members shared that they made 1700 doing the same kind of strategy with FedEx, okay? Because there was a lot of movement on FedEx. Um, so, it was a good day for them. It was a good day for me. It was a good day for anyone who is, you know, unafraid to play both sides. I don't want you guys to think red is bad anymore. You see red, you're, you're, you're doing puts. You're selling companies short. You see green, you're going calls. You're, you're buying shares. Uh, and selling higher, right? You just play the direction. You do what the whales are doing. You do what big money is doing. You stop trying to beat the system and instead play within the rules. So this 1K challenge, okay? I've been following what I can make and what I've lost. It started out with, hey, I, did, I, I really lost a lot of money here. <laughs> Holding this overnight. And uh, on Friday last week, Monday it opened and rallied. Uh, you know, I lost uh, something like 80% of my of my puts. Tuesday, it was the complete opposite because uh, it tanked, right? Um, it was, you know, that was a big day. Same with uh, Thursday. You hold Thursday. So what I had on Thursday, let me just give you a little bit of reference points here. On Thursday, I had 60 contracts, 6-0, okay? I sold them at 339 uh, this, this, the whole spy bled all PM, all after hours, uh, sorry, all after hours. And then in the PM, it gapped down in the pre-market, it gapped down and it had about a $10, $10 difference. I would have secured uh, on the contracts because I woke up, the contracts were worth, uh, almost $10. They were like nine something, you know, so that would be an, an additional, six six dollars something but let's just call it six six times six times sorry six times 60 times 100 is thirty six thousand dollars okay so i would have made thirty six thousand dollars on my position had i held but i have the tendency to close my things out when i see a little bit of green uh and i'm just trying to get little hits to add up real quick so with this 1k challenge what you can do is you set aside a grand that you're happy to lose. You know, you're not happy to lose it, but you're okay to lose it, okay? So your risk tolerance for that 1K is ultra high, okay? Now what you need to do is pick your spot on the spy, be it bullish or bearish, which is gonna be a result of worldwide news, a, a, you know, a, a combination of a few things. Global news, local news, like in America for you guys, I'm Canadian, but local, I will just say America, right? And like macro events, specific companies having really big issues or really strong news. So like Friday, it was kind of FedEx and then all the things they were saying was worrying investors all over. So everything was selling, right? They were going to cash. Someone comes around and has really positive or good news, they're gonna be, you know, that you're gonna see buying in a rally, okay? What you're looking for is a $10 move, right? That's not 10 points, that's just $10. You're looking for a $10 move on the SPY, either direction. So me, I'll just give you an example of how I'm gonna, how I intend to do this, okay? It's gonna be with puts. Um, and I'm going to pick days where the market feels very weak going into the next day. 
all right? Uh, I am not gonna do this over weekends. It's just too risky. Uh, it can go either way. It can go literally either way. It's, it's just a coin flip gamble. It doesn't even matter. Like Monday this week should have been real bad and it was a super rally. And then Tuesday was the biggest sell-off we saw since, you know, since 2020. Like, well, yeah, but what? no one mentioned how bogus the, the freaking rally was on Monday that had just occurred. And Tuesday's prices on the SPY were actually higher than uh, Friday. So it wasn't a big, it wasn't so bad. It's like Biden letting gas go up to six bucks, seven bucks, and then it comes back to five bucks and he goes, ah, it's the biggest decline in, in history. Well, no, Biden, the gas is still higher than it was two years ago, okay? So it's the same situation. So rant over, you're gonna be picking your spot. I'm gonna be picking puts. You take that 1K, you hold those puts. You wake up, that thing has gapped down. That's what you're looking for, a gap down because the spy has a tendency to gap down and gap up. You're looking for a gap down with continued bleeding. If you're going on the bull side, you're looking for a gap up with continued running. Pre-market happens, uh, market opens, you're gonna try and close that out, okay? Because you don't know which direction it's gonna go right away. Market open. I guess that's risk dependent. I am looking to close this thing and secure the profit as soon as possible and then get a feel for the market. Okay, so, and you, you're looking at 2x, right? That 10 point, or sorry, that $10 move, the SPY is at like 395, okay? And it is swinging between 388 and like 420 right now. So you you definitely have a massive a massive uh, channel to work within right now. Okay, the time is right now. Um, so in that channel, you're picking your spots, and uh, you get that ten dollar move. Now you've doubled up one into two. Same thing. The next time you do this two grand you, you you that one grand when i say like oh you're willing to risk it all type thing it's like the money you make as well okay because you're going to need to do use the whole thing so one grand into two two into four four into eight you know just times two every time eight into 16 16 into 32 32 into 64 64 into 128 uh, and then you got 256, I believe. Okay, and now you're looking at 600 or sorry, 500 and uh, 256, 512 thou, and now you've got a million. Okay, so and that's 10 trades. Okay, not 10 days, 10 trades. So the quickest you could make this happen is actually like 22 days, right? You enter. And then, and then you just get it right 10 times in a row. Two days, now why I say 22 days is because the spy options are, are every two days. Um, and I'm talking trading days, not calendar days, right? Because you got to exclude weekends. Weekends are going to be a longer, they're going to be longer, right? Uh, so 22, 22 trading days because those spy options, like I said, they're two days apart. They're every two days. They're not weeklies. They're not monthlies. They're two days apart. Now, you're gonna have to keep. You're gonna have to keep in the back of your mind as well. Max pain on the weeklies. So every Friday, and then on the monthlies, every third Friday of the month, whatever month you're in. Some months have five. So you need to know what one is the third, right? October's, I believe, is October 21. Okay, because you're going to want to know what max pain is for those levels and, and you determine that by looking at the open interest. Any strikes with like thousands of open interest or tens or twenties of thousands of open interest, that's generally speaking where the um, hedge funds are going to gravitate the price of the SPY to. Uh, you know, hate to say it, but they can virtually control um, the price. 
you know, outside of a few factors, for whatever reason, they seem to be able to control it for the most part, by and large, okay? So keep that in mind when you're picking your strikes as well. Now, when I pick my strikes, though, the most effective way to avoid losses, I found out, is not buying like near or at the money okay so if it's at 395 you're not going to be you're not going to be picking 395 if you expect it to go down you're going to pick like 400 you're going to pay a little bit extra to have in the money puts and if it's a call you wouldn't pick 395 you'd pick like 390 five six bucks five six bucks i found gave me the most reliable means so that if it let's say I buy that put 395 uh oh it goes to 396 397 uh oh I'm I'm now I'm really losing money here okay um it gives you time it gives you time stocks don't just go up and they don't just go down it gives you a little bit of gives you a little bit of a window to let it cool off to let RSI come down and to let the price fall a little bit or or maybe some news happens in the you know literally maybe some news happens because you're taking this day by day week by week maybe some news happens and it causes the stock to fall or the, the sector to fall or the markets to fall okay you, you buy it at that 395 you're getting smoked okay because the uh algorithm the uh, the built-in uh multipliers are really working against you at this point. You didn't give yourself any, like buying a put means the right to sell a stock at that price. So if I if it's at 395 and I'm taking 400s, technically I, I'm not losing money in, in, in the sense of what I'm allowed to do. I'm allowed to sell stock for 400, you know, and it's at 397. So I, have, I still have $3 premium in there, right? I'm I'm down because my I bet I bet you those options cost me like five six five six bucks. I'm so I'm down there, but in 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 the terms of the market, even at the money for the spy is worth like two three bucks. I don't even know why. <laughs> to be straight honest with you, um, the, the multipliers are just really good on the spy. You want to look for something that's like twenty five to thirty percent IV when you enter. Okay, so you do that, and this is just based on experience. You know, if you find something different out, let me know. But this is my experience firsthand. Okay, I've done testing on it, <laughs> I've lost a bunch of thousands of dollars, and I've made thousands of dollars. So, it you know, it and what works the best is paying that extra premium for in the money. Before, when I was doing it, I was doing at the money because that's going to give you the most gains. It's going to give you the most gains, but it's also the most risk. Um, you know, I like the $5 spread. It's good enough for me, and it gives me what I need for this 1K challenge. So this 1K challenge, eventually you're going to be risking a boatload of money, okay? You're, you're going to be risking... 16 grand, 32 grand, 64 grand, 128 grand, 256 grand. You know, alternatively, if you want to take a slower approach, which would be like a 40 a 40 trade approach ish, right? Every time you double, you secure half. Okay? So, you take your one into your two. You secure 500. Now you've got 1500 into three. You secure. So you made 1500. You secure 750. So, and you know, secure half of the profit. Whatever you want to do, whatever system you want to do, if you really want to YOLO something memorable and crazy, try to turn one into a million. Now, that said, like, let's say you're you're at that 500k, and it goes against you. You're not going to wake up and your 500k is zero, okay? If it goes against you, as long as it only goes against you a little bit, 
your 500k will be like 400k right maybe 300 okay it would have to be a very significant move to actually wipe you out all in one one week okay you're, ne you're never getting wiped out here because you're, you're getting out right away type thing uh bar barring like a new a new war is announced maybe china taiwan or something crazy maybe the president bites it or whatever right so barring any of that uh you're never gonna get wiped out on this either way i'm gonna try starting this next week um so <laughs> i'm working to get free from it all I think that's what we're going to see here coming from me soon. I feel confident that that there is enough, like I said, there's enough spread on this market that you can play it kind of both sides right now until it actually really does give away. Because you look back just a couple years, guys, SPY was like 200 bucks. So puts to me are, are relatively safe right now. There's a lot of room for it to fall. A lot of people are super bullish. Uh, I think it's, you've literally, literally been told by the Fed over and over, um, like things are going to get worse before they get better and we are looking to get things worse so that things can get better uh let me know in the comments what you think i look forward to seeing you uh your gains please join the discord uh there's a section for gains in there let me know